Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn how to find the height difference in a YouTube Mercury manometer of a low speed subsonic wind tunnel. Consider a low speed subsonic wind tunnel with a 12 to 1 contraction ratio for the nozzle. If the flow in the test section in at standard sea level conditions with a velocity of 15 meter per second, calculate the height difference in a YouTube Mercury manometer with one side connected to the nozzle inlet and the other to the test section. Given data. Here, the nozzle to the section contraction ratio is given which is A1 by A2 is 12 by 1 and the velocity flow at the section V2 is given which is 50 meter per second. Now the question is what is the height difference in a YouTube Mercury manometer with one side connected to the nozzle inlet and the other to the intake section. So the side of the manometer is connected to a pressure tap in the settling chamber of the wind tunnel where the pressure is P1 and the other side of the manometer is connected to a pressure tap in the dead section where the pressure is P2. Then we can write the pressure difference P1 minus P2 is W into del H where W is the weight per unit volume of the manometer fluid and del H is the high difference. From this we can find out del H and here all values are unknown. So for, from the Benoit's equation we can find pressure difference P1 minus P2. So write P1 minus P2 is equal to 1 by 2 into rho into V2 square into 1 minus A2 by A1 the whole square where rho is the density of air flow. At standard sea level, rho is 1.23 kg per meter cube and V2 is the velocity which is already given in the question and contraction ratio is also given. By substituting these values in Bernoulli's equation, we get the pressure difference P1 minus P2 is 1527 Newton per meter square. And we know the product of density and the acceleration of gravity is the weight per unit volume of the manometer fluid. So here what is the manometer fluid? Here mercury is the manometer fluid. So the constant value of density of liquid mercury is 1.36 into 10 to the power 4 kilogram per meter cube. And we know the acceleration of gravity g is 9.81 meter per second square. By multiplying the density and g, we get W is 1.33 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. Now substitute this W and pressure difference in equation number 1, we get the required height difference del H is 0.01148 meter. Did you know? Sheep, a duck and a chicken were the first passengers aboard a hot air balloon. They survived the very first hot air balloon flight which lasted about 8 minutes. When the burner of a hot air balloon is turned, it can be quite noisy in the basket of a balloon. But when the burner is turned off, it is very quiet in the balloon. This is not even any wind noise since the balloon is moving with the wind. Someone invented a glass bottom balloon. Imagine floating thousands of feet above the earth with nothing between you and the ground but glass. This is what passengers experienced when Christian Brown debuted his glass bottom hot air balloon at the 2010 Bristol International Balloon Fiesta. Brown told the British press the flight was terrifying and the trial flights had ended with passengers streaking and screaming in fear. There is talk of opening the glass bottom balloon to the public. Sound fun. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired, and
ไฟล์ไฮ